Novak Djokovic versus Matteo Berrettini is the men's final for Wimbledon for 2021. Both players have had different roads to get to the final stage. Berrettini entered the tournament as the number seven seed and will take on Pella in the first round. And after dropping the second set, he'd prevail in four, six, four, three, six, six, four, six, love. His second round was against the lucky loser, Van der Zanschel. Berrettini dismissed the Dutchman in straight sets, six, three, six, four, seven, six. Third round opponent was against Bedenay. And again, a straight sets performance, winning in three, six, four, six, four, Four, six, four. In the fourth round, he'd face another unseated opponent, Avashka. And again, another straight sets performance from Berrettini. 6-4, 6-3, 6-1. Quarterfinal opponent was the number 16 seed, Felix Ogeliasim. And this was the first time Berrettini was playing a seeded player for the event. Berrettini had the experience prevailing in four, 6-3, 5-7, 7-5, 6-3. The semifinals, Berrettini would take on the number 14 seed, Herkash, who was just coming off the win against Roger Federer. And after winning the first two sets easily, he had to fight to finish in four, eventually prevailing 6-3, 6-love, 6-7, 6-4 to advance to his first Grand Slam final. The defending champion and world number one Novak Djokovic started his tournament against the wildcard Draper. And after losing the first set, Djokovic would eventually prevail in 4, 4-6, four, 6-1, six, six, 6-2, 6-2. His second round opponent was against the veteran Anderson, who he'd had some battles with at Wimbledon in the past. But this time, Djokovic got the job done in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3, 6-3. His third round opponent was against the qualifier Kudla. And after getting the job done in the first two sets the third set was tight with both players having set points but Djokovic would get through in three sets 6-4 6-3 7-6 his fourth round opponent was against the number 17 seed Garen who's a little bit of a surprise getting into the fourth round considering he's more of a clay quarter and this showed as Djokovic demolished the Chilean in straight sets 6-2 6-4 6-2 his quarterfinal opponent was against the unseeded Fucevic and although Fucevic did have some highlight shots during the match Djokovic got the job done in straight sets again 6-3 6-4 6-4 in the semifinals Djokovic Djokovic would take on the number 10 seed, Denis Shapovalov. And this was a very tight match for Djokovic as he was tested by the young Canadian, but he would eventually get through in three tight sets, 7-6, 7-5, 7-5, 7-5, to advance to the final again. Head to head between these two is 2-0 in favor of Djokovic, but the last time they played was at the French Open in the quarterfinals a couple of months ago, and Djokovic won in four, but Matteo Berrettini was starting to come back in that match. So it's interesting to see if Berrettini can get off to a good start here, how he's gonna affect Djokovic on the faster surface. If Berrettini's gonna win this match, he he needs his serve to be working and of course the forehand. They're the weapons and he needs to be using them to great effect against Djokovic if he's going to win any sets here against the world number one. If Djokovic is going to win, he needs to limit the unforced errors. In the last couple of matches, he's been hitting a lot of errors and if Berrettini is firing at all cylinders with the serve and the forehand, Djokovic can't be giving away free points. So he needs to be clutch and he also needs to be serving well as well. This is a tough one because we've got Berrettini who's playing in his first final with Novak Djokovic going for records at the moment. He's got over 20 grand slams, joining Roger Federer and Rafa Nadal. So I'm going to go with Djokovic on that one just because because Berrettini hasn't been to a final of a slam before. I think that it's going to be very new to him. He's going to be nervous early. And I think Djokovic is going to prevail just because he's got the experience over Berrettini. I think it's going to be a five-setter, though. And I think Djokovic is going to get through. Let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this final.